Hey, Sneaky Lovers, back again in the house. Back again, back again. Yeah, been a while, isn't it? God, been so busy. Today, we have Booty Linux 3 Alpha. Well, it's an Alpha, which means things will go wrong. Now, you're saying, why are you doing Booty again, Sneaky? Because you ain't done it for ages and ages, which I haven't. Well, the main reason is, this is based on 1404, so it's definitely, definitely an Alpha. And there's lots of different changes that you can have a look at with me here. Now, I've installed it and changed the background desktop, as you can see, because the other one is just that slate grey thing, and I just don't like that. It's all updated, there's about 100 updates to do, so yeah, that was hunky-dory. Internet works straight out of the box. Right, one of the first changes is... <clears throat> let's turn my volume up first, shall I? One of my first things to do is... Pulse now replaces Elsa, okay? Pulse completely replaces Elsa. Yes, it does. So that's one of the first changes, which is nice and nice. Before we go into any more changes, let's have a look in the book. Now, as you know, if you've had Bodhi before, you don't get actually much of it to start with. You just get this stuff on top of it. Now, it used to run Enlightenment E17, didn't it? Nah, this ain't that. No, no, no. This is a pre-release version of Enlightenment E19. Yes, 19. Skipped 18, gone straight to 19. Yeah, bloody hell. Who thought that? I don't know. But yeah, it runs quite nice. That's okay. So anyway, go to accessories. All you get is leaf pad, okay? And the preferences. You get your software and updates manager, a window manager, window manager, tweaks and workspaces. Under internet, here's a bit of a different thing. You only get in this section Econ Man, which is the connection manager, and Midori as standard. Now, I'm not a really a Midori fan, but he's nice and light and does work, but hey, some people want other things than me. So what I've done is I've installed a Firefox and Google Chrome just to make sure they would install on this version. And yeah, they install a fine hunkily dory off the hunkily of the dory. No problem over whatsoever. And we're away from Yeah, yeah. It seems a bit sluggish at the moment, but hey, it is old, so don't worry about it. So we go straight to the Google page. Sneaky, 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 do, and we'll be there. Okay. Yeah, remember, it is an alpha. That's the only thing I've found about it slightly sluggish so far. But hey, what do I know? Nothing really, do I? I don't know nothing. No, I don't know. Really. But that's why it's an alpha. I've said that about 10 times already, haven't I? To iron out the bugs. So the, the beta will be not too long now because the main release should be, you know, of course. Now yeah, we can do that. Continue. As you can see, pages render very, very nice. So I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever. And they all work. Yeah, it just does out of the box. He hasn't included the NVIDIA um, or the ATI proprietary drivers for graphics, but they will come in the beta, I imagine. Okay, so that's that's just why. What other things I'm going to show you? Oh, yeah, I remember now. It's all come back to me. Go to applications and we go to system tools. We get ESS a system tool. Okay, so I'm going to open that up and see what it is. And what happens is this comes up. So you can change your time and date, task manager, users and groups. So if we click on task manager, and you'll see what I mean. Ding, ding, ding. It tells you what my CPU is doing and my RAM usage, which is very, very good at the moment. Okay, yes. Yeah, I thought it was right. Yeah. Anyway, what else we've got in there? Now? Let me have a look in the system tools. You get EDEB package installer. The Enlightenment file manager, you get eSudo this time. eSudo, not GTK sudo. Okay. I'll open up H.264 so you can see the process is a bit more for yourself, okay? As you can see, it's only using 121 megs of my RAM, okay? And CPU's not doing nothing. It never really does, so I'm not too worried about that. So I was really happy about that. And as you can see, it comes up in my little thing up here, which is terminology. And what do you use terminology? You know what? I'm going to show you how you do that later. We'll show you how to do that. It's a file map. That's not a file map. It's a terminal emulator, but you can actually get images in it. Yeah, real good images, which is a bit I like. Yeah. Where else is that? Okay. Take a screenshot. Your desktop, you can change your gadgets, your shelves, and your virtual stuff. Under your windows, you can clean up your windows. Under enlightenment, tells you about about the theme. Exit and restart. Under settings, we can change our stuff. Okay. So if I go to the wallpaper, can you see how I changed my wallpaper? I don't know if the older themes will work in E19. I will try that a bit later today, I think, when I've got a bit more time. But yeah, just change that. We'll go to oranges. Yeah, looks all right, yeah. Apply. Oh, nice. And OK and close. That's a bit bright on the old eyes first thing in the morning, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah. yeah, so using E19. So what do I do? Go down there again. Enlightenment. About enlightenment we're going to go to. <clears throat> about. And item 0 of point of 1.8991857. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, this is a pre-release version. Okay. Don't worry about it. 
I've done videos before on getting different themes and stuff for Enlightenment, so I'm, as I said to you just a minute ago, we're going to check that out again in a minute. Now, on the whole, everything works hungry door You get, still get Synaptic Package Manager to install all your stuff. So if we go here, you'll see what I mean. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cool edge. Go straight to Synaptic, and eSudo will ask for your password. So we'll put it in. Just like that. That was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Hungry of the door, man. Mm -mm -mm. And it waits a bit. Let me do that. Can you see a little bit sluggish yet? This is in VirtualBox, by the way. It's not in a full machine install because. I've not got them machines at the moment, and I'll tell you why, maybe a bit later. Anyway, yes, all here, so if you want to install something, so we'll search for, say, we'll go search Abbey Word, for instance. Because maybe you don't want to do other stuff. So Abbey Word, go to search, and there it is, and you can install it that way, like that. So I share to do it? Oh, might as well, might not. I? Yeah, we'll mark for installation. Yeah, it needs all them. Mark, 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 and you just apply off it go, it wants not a lot at all, so we'll click apply, it'll start downloading the packages for us, which doesn't take no time whatsoever, move it up a bit for you, and that down a bit, zoom, also the speed's a bit slow at the moment as well, See, the, go up and down, up and down, up and down, mm, yeah. why that is, I don't know, because it's an alpha of course, when the beta comes along I'll do a proper full install and we can have a better look at it really, but I'm just showing you what it's like at the moment. So you might be interested come April, okay, when the full release comes out. Bodhi Bear My Use Enlightenment is a very, very fast Ubuntu version, okay? Very, very fast off the Ubuntu. That's what it says. The download's small as well. It's not up a gig anymore. It's around about six, five, six hundred. Not long to download whatsoever. There we go. Installing for us. It won't take long at all. As you can see, we've only been on a couple of minutes, haven't we? Yeah, a little while. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. And about to be finished really. You also get four windows up there to use as well. We click close. Synaptic will reload for us and then we can kind of see if Abbey Word works. Okay. Some of you may want LibreOffice, you know. It's up to you what you want really. So we left click on the desktop. And yeah, I've got a new entry office. Abbey Word 54321. Nice and quick. What version we got? It should be nice. It's three. Version three, so it's nice for us too. See, so everything works hunkly dory, even though it's an alpha. I mean, if you want to download it, install it, and just you know, upgrade it as we go, you might want to like using it. I don't know. I'd rather like it. Now, oh, that's my first error. Look, I was just too quick for it. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Never mind. I'm really worried about that. Because it's an alpha. 15 times. But Linux, as it's enough, I'm not going to rate it, but I think this could be one of the better ones of the new releases when they come out in April, okay? I've not done the beta video for Zubuntu because I've done the other one, didn't I? And there's not much more to tell you, we've just got to wait till the full release comes out, like the rest of them, at the end of the day. But yeah, Bodhi Linux 3 Alpha, using Enlightenment E19 and some other bits and bobs and changes, all hunkily of the door. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. Sneaky Linux, you going? to the outing. Bye bye.